Hello and welcome to the story of evolution. My name is David Attenborough and here you can just see the wild corner. He's well adapted to his environment with his camouflage and he's extremely alert for any predator that may come from anywhere. Oh wait, wait, look, look to our left. We can see Sir Alex Aldro. He had the latter name of Alexis Extremely Dangerous Aldro. Oh look, they're there in a chain corner where they run quickly. He may he may have to hide. Oh no! It seems like little Alex Aldro had one. This is down the extre extremely well adapted animals as they are. Over millions and millions of years, they have adapted to be the best they can be. In the humble beginning, these creatures were not well adapted to their surroundings. However, over hundreds of millions of years, they changed. And to make sure they survived, they adapted. 25 million years ago, this is what the wild corner would have looked like. And this is a scenario that might have been played out between the wild corner and the wardrobe. As you can see, the wild corner isn't very camouflaged. And the wardrobe... <laughs> the wardrobe feet are not adapted. Despite the fact that Connor tries to hide, he cannot. This is how the wardrobe would have looked 25 million years ago. You would have had a very thin layer of skin which would not protect him against the harsh winter, as well as it is not camouflaged in his environment. His shoes are not very well adapted. They may give him speed, however, the grip is non existent, so he falls over. The bells were made for attracting mate. However, they make him extremely noisy. Fast forward to 10 million years ago. Due to a chance mutation, he had lost his bells. This has made him a much more efficient hunter. Through variation, the wardrobe has gained camouflage to mix in to his environment, as well as an extra layer to protect him against the harsh winter. Passed on from generation to generation, the wardrobe feet have become harder, giving him much more grip. 25 million years ago, the Connor had this tinsel-like material. It may make him more festive, but he's unable to blend in with his surrounding. Due to a random chance of mutation, it has given this Connor camouflage to mix in to his environment. As you can see, it surrounds his whole body. Due to variation, this Connor has developed a hard skull. This can be used to fend off any predators. Again, the Connor has developed additional camouflage to hide his very large and hard skull. Here you see the Connor eating his plants. Oh, we. We may be able to see another chase from the wardrobe on the Connor. It looks like this. The Connor is not fast enough. It, oh, he's taking it, him on. <laughs> the Connor has won and has fended off the attacking predator. He will no, now go back to his den and mate with his female. The Connor, the wardrobe, is now defeated.